Jonathan. Hey, Gianni. How are you doing? It's going I'm well. doing well. So yeah. I'm kicking it off and then scurrying away before the questions get too difficult. <laughs> so uh, only two minutes of this. OK. Um, this is all happening so quickly. How? 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 <laughs> well, uh, so we get told this is happening really quickly. And it um, almost comes over as a complaint that we're moving so fast. And if you sit back and look at it, and you saw the stats earlier, we're in the second decade of online booking. Yet the digital divide has never been larger between airline direct presentation of product and indirect presentation of product. And so the, what we're trying to do is just fix that. We're trying to give the channels the tools to make that better. And through doing that, we built this really strong community. This community has come together. And within three months of our launch, we had six experiments in market. So there's real pent up demand to fix this. Yeah. And so we've been experimenting. We've been learning. We've been failing. And through that process, we've got to the point where, as today, we can announce that for the US domestic market, we have what we agree to be version 1.0 of a standard. That's going to go out for comment. That's going to go out for review. But we're pretty excited to get that out in time for the Elevate conference. So wow. good news. Wow. Yeah, and when we started talking about this a year ago, the, the big question was, there's no way to get consensus. There's no way like mom and dad will even talk to each other. So how, what, was it impossible? <laughs> Is it impossible? <laughs> yes, no. Um, so two years, I've been at ATP Go for two years. And it only struck me about 18 months in that our role is to sit between the airlines and the channels and to be shouted at by both and then try and work out which way to take the industry forward. <laughs> we do get yelled at, type of. Yeah, <laughs> know, that is, you. We all need to like, not do that anymore. OK. <laughs> but I guess the key to it was keeping our aspirations small. So we focused on US domestic. We had an eye to the bigger markets, but US domestic is where we focused in first. And we were able to quickly iterate, learn, change things, adapt. So that's how we got stuff done, finding common ground. And do you still have like stars in your eyes or no? Stars in my eyes. <laughs> oh my goodness. If you could do things over again. Um, so stars, we, really interesting and valuable lesson for me and the team was that we really doubled down on stars. We thought stars was <laughs> such a good way of portraying a way of comparing products. And we got lost in the message. And the industry kind of got distracted. And the real intent of what we've been trying to do is bring together the capability for channels to have the data to display airline products in a way that makes sense to the consumer, that they can compare like features, they can group products in a way that makes sense to them. And it's always been about empowering the channels. And stars got us a little distracted, yeah. but we've rolled back from that. And now we've put the controls back to the channels. So we're now running experiments with the channels. Are we going to move to icons? Are we going to move to words? Are we going to have numbers? We're going to keep experimenting. I'm confident the channels who the retailing experts will tell us how we should display those column headings that group like products. Right. So since it's just us talking and no one is actually yeah, I don't listening. Think, I think most people are asleep uh, anyway. Which is your favorite implementation? Oh, gosh. <laughs> um, which is my favorite implementation? It's hard to say I love all of them. I really do. Um, we've had some really highly engaged guys right at the beginning. But we keep finding you know, really interesting use cases. A lot of focus in corporate. And it seems to be a good mix for corporate. We're not really touched and got there on uh, the retailing side. But you know, I think the key to all this is each channel bringing its own need, understanding regionalization, understanding what makes products groupings make sense in different areas has just been part of the learning. 